So obviously you want to be a professional 3D modeler, you want to be making tons of money, getting tons of commissions, oh yeah, but then the second you open up Blender and actually try to do something, you find out it's more complicated than the London subway system. But what if I told you that you didn't actually have to know how to model to create models? You could create models out of thin air with the power of technology. And that's right boys, in Blender you can literally just generate models. So let me show you how. In a new Blender viewport, you can start off by deleting everything since we don't really need it. Then hit up to edit and then preferences. Now under the add-ons menu, search for the landscape add-on and enable that boy. Oh, oh yes. Now search for the extra mesh add-on and enable that too. Now press shift A, go over to mesh and go to Suzanne. Obviously this is the first mesh, almost everyone knows about it, just the generic monkey head. If you subdivide it and shade it smooth, you could actually use it for a couple of things. Now we have diamonds. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So yeah, if you ever need a diamond, like, this is your place to do it. So obviously all these meshes are nice and cool, but let's get into some of the more fun stuff, yeah? Like the beam builder. Oh yeah. This thing literally lets you generate a girder. You can change the shape of it, make it like a C, a U, an L. I think the I looks the best for a girder. You can also change, like, how long it is. Like, if you wanted to, you could make it hard. You can make those egg is nice and bent. Oh, look at that. It's a nice pile of girders. You don't even have to make a beam out of it. You can just make some weird looking cool shape. Easy mesh generation. No modeling required. Let's do the next thing. Wall factory. You probably saw me talk about this one in my last video. You can change everything about this wall. Like how big the bricks are, how wide they are, how tall it is, the size of the window, where the window is, the curve of the window. You can even give it a shelf. You can give it those little crevices at the top. You can give it stairs. You can change everything in existence about this wall. In the last video I did, I literally made a castle out of just this add-on because of how insane it is. Once again, no modeling required. Of course, if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can separate the objects. Then you're going to want to press F3 and randomize the Y location. Press Alt S, scale them up a little bit, and then give them all a bevel modifier. It just makes them look a little bit more smooth and brick-like. Also, if you give it a simple deform modifier, change the angle to 360 and the axis to Z, you can literally create a a tower. Like, that's so freaking cool. Once again, no modeling required. And if you scale the window just right, you can create a doorway. A doorway in a detailed brick wall without modeling anything. Technology is gonna rip this world apart, dude. I mean, how do you create this without knowing anything about 3D modeling? It looks like a tunnel from the London subway system. Now let's just get the star real quick. There's not a whole lot you can do with this one. Of course, you can change, like, the sides and stuff, how big it is, how tall it is, but you know, it's, it's just your basic little star shape. All oh, the step pyramid, an old family favorite. Obviously, you can change the amount of steps there are, the amount of sides there are. You can make it super tall, super long, super detailed if you wanted to. Once again, just another really interesting generative mesh to play around with. If you ever wanted like an asset to add to your maps in a game, this is your guy to go to. And I'll say it for the millionth time, no modeling required. You know, this actually kind of reminds me of some of the pillars from the London subway system. Honeycomb. Honey's pretty delicious, but this modifier is more delicious. You can change the size of these bad boys, you can extrude some of them, create all sorts of funky looking patterns. Like for instance right here, I just made like a quadruple minigun barrel. That looks crazy. For like tower defense guns or any low poly towers or stuff, this thing is awesome to work with. Normally honeycomb patterns can take a long time to put together in Blender by yourself, but thanks to this add-on, there's no modeling required. This is the first add-on that genuinely does not remind me of the London subway system. Teapot! Yeah, I literally just found this out of nowhere while I was messing around with some Blender settings. For some damn odd reason, you can literally spawn in teapots. Then if you change this setting down here, you can make it a spoon. I don't know why, I don't know which freaking Blender contributor put this in, but you can get spoons in teapots for free in Blender. Now let's do this weird cube. Yeah, I don't really know what this is or what it's purposes, but it looks really dang cool. If you add too many holes, Blender can lag a ton, but hey, that's kind of cool, like almost a Roblox map. You could probably use this for something. I mean, such a cool shape like that, so many modifications you can put on it. Very nice. Lastly, a mountain. You can change so many things about this guy. Everything about him is changeable. He's practically more malleable than copper. I just created some fun landscape shapes, made it nice and sharp, a little bit smooth here and there. 
a little bit steep in other places. Then I just gave it a subsurf modifier and shaded it smooth, and hey, it actually looked really good. And once again, the landscape modifier is probably one of the most convenient ones, because not only is there no modeling required, but modeling this by hand would take a very, very long time. So the fact that you can just make this is crazy. And if you flip it upside down, it becomes a hole. I spent a couple minutes stretching out the ground just to illustrate that a little bit better. And yeah, as you can see, it literally looks like someone just freaking stomped into the earth. Hey, if you ever try to model like some Marvel VFX earthquake, trying to get a little action going in that road, this add-on is your guy. I hope you all learned something today. All these add-ons are super cool, super useful, and if you modify them enough, I'm sure you could even sell some of these assets. Have fun modeling. Uh, I mean, have fun asset generating. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what the right freaking word is for this, but ha have fun using Blender. There we go.